These folks may or may not have medical records. Their medical records may be out of state. They need ways of tracking that information down. In the state of Colorado, and this is just so shocking to me, I just have to share it with everybody. The state will provide 10 days worth of medication for a physical ailment, so 10 days of insulin or whatever, 30 days of meds for psychological conditions. And some of these folks are taking an amazing cocktail of psychotropic drugs to stabilize them, and they're good for 30 days. I mean, you might be talking $1,000 worth of medication when they get out. So they need help finding affordable sources of this medication. But it's not all dire. A lot of folks just need healthy lifestyle choice information. Information about how to keep their kids healthy. So general type information that we kind of may take for granted of course I'm going to go to the dentist and I know what it means if my tooth hurts and I've got to go get something done. A lot of these folks don't, don't know this stuff. It's not information that they grew up with so they're discovering it as adults. So healthy lifestyle. Legal issues. Some of the recidivism problem is because folks get out and they've got outstanding warrants waiting for them. That's not necessarily something the public library can help with. It's just something to know. Um, they're going to need some form of ID. You could call that a legal issue. A lot of them are coming out with child custody and divorce issues. So that kind of civil legal information presented in a format that like a normal person can understand is really important. A lot of these folks are released with old debt, unpaid child support, mortgages, not mortgages as much, but uh, other unpaid bills. And then they'll also have immediate bills. Most community corrections programs take part of an offender's salary as a way of, of supplementing it. it. It's rent. I mean, it's not a terrible extortion kind of thing. But that's a money issue. They might need to get a phone set up. They might need to get a cell phone. Ex-offenders have to check in with their parole officers a lot. They've got to have access to a phone. Uh, restitution. A lot of folks are coming out with restitution payments that they need. So money management seminars on how to budget, how to live on a shoestring, how to reduce debt are really, really good for this group. And then they'll need assistance locating literacy programs, either for English speakers who are having trouble reading or emerging English speakers. Technical colleges, really big deal. Community colleges, huge. A lot of offenders exit with some college credit. It's important to keep that momentum going if we can. Family and relationships huge issue for anybody who is incarcerated. 